Good start there. Oh, just a bit low. Hey, not too bad. We got a video definitely worth watching today. The Target Makuru Suzuki Darts Review starts right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. We have an incredible video for you today. In this video, we're gonna be taking a close up look at the Target Makuru Suzuki Jadeite darts. Now check this out, this is really impressive. I ordered these darts as well as a couple other sets of darts that I'm gonna review here shortly. So I ordered about, I don't know, three or four sets of darts. I picked them up at Dart Shopper located in the Netherlands. I placed an order on Sunday night. They shipped out Monday morning using their FedEx Express shipping. Only cost $10. I had these as well as the other sets of darts in my hand two days later. That's just, it's mind blowing to me because now I can order from overseas and have my stuff in a matter of days. It completely eliminates the problem of waiting around forever. Nobody likes to wait for their stuff. And on top of that, I use their discount code. As you see there, it saves 8%. And these are actually an expensive set of darts. I think they go for about 105 US dollars. So I saved 8%, paid right around $97 for these things. Every little bit helps. So yeah, feel free to use their discount code. Check out Dart Shopper in the link below. But what do you say we get these opened up? I'll show you the beautiful packaging that it comes in. Really super nice here. And uh, then we'll take a close up look at the darts, go over some stats and dimensions. And then to the board we go. I'll give you some feedback as I'm throwing them and I'll let you know what I think of the Target Makuro Suzuki J8 darts. So here we go, guys. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah, really excited about this one today, guys. It's not too often I get to review a set of $100 darts. We've got the Miracle Makuro Suzuki J8 darts. And as you see here, it comes in this beautiful presentation case, small little box here. And a little bit of a misprint on the back. Let me point that out real quick. It says it comes with three pixel tips. Well, this is actually a steel tip set of darts. So they do come with a 36 millimeter fire edge point, which by the way, I don't think there's too many mass produced darts that come with a longer point. But yeah, 36 millimeter long points with these things. But as you see here, we fold open this flap to reveal what's inside. We've got her picture there. We've got her signature and check out those beauties. Wow, what a great looking set of darts. But to open them up, you push this little round target tab. Well, I guess that's oval. So you push that and out slides the display case. So have a look at those things. Wow, what a beautiful set of darts. Love that coloring. Hey, it even has the uh, Target logo here, so that's a nice little attention to detail. We've got the standard size flights, and it looks like an intermediate length Target stem there. This even opens up. So we've got the Target warranty card here. Some more detail on the inside of the box. So the warranty card, 24.2 grams. We will double check that figure here in just a second, but what do you say? We get these assembled and we'll go over some stats and dimensions. Here we go, guys. Okay, there we go, fully assembled stock out of the package and what an amazing looking set of barrels there. Absolutely stunning. I'm not sure how the camera's picking them up, but in person, wow, what a beautiful set of barrels. Like I said, up front, we have some of the longest points that I know of on a mass produced art. These are the 36 millimeter long target fire edge points of which we're looking at about 31 millimeters sticking out of the barrel. Now, in the back end here, we have the Target polycarbonate intermediate length stems. And right after that, we have the Miracle Makuro Suzuki standard size flights. But running down some stats and dimensions, this is a 95% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in same exact length as my own personal match darts, 50.5 millimeters long. And the maximum width right here on the back end of the barrel, 6.6 .6 millimeters wide. Now these were advertised as 24 grams. And if you saw on the warranty card, it says 24.2 grams. Well, we have one of the barrels came in 24.16 grams, 24.18 grams, and then finally 24.26 grams. So these barrels were one tenth of a gram out of whack, which is quite a bit more than their tolerance of 0.05 grams. 
Nothing I would certainly expect for $100 darts. So yeah, I'm not too impressed there. I think that's something Target really has to work on because, you know, it says right on the warranty card, 0 0.05 grams. Again, one-tenth of a gram off on these $100 darts. But anyway, let's get a little bit closer look at these beautiful barrels. Okay, there we go. There's a decent close-up look. The back end of these barrels, the coating is so dark, it was hard to get the lighting quite right. But I guess you can see the pixel grip right here. So the entire back end has the pixel grip, surprisingly. And it might be because of the coating, but uh, these are not as grippy as you'd imagine. I know I've tried some pixel grip darts that have an amazing amount of grip. Surprisingly, these do not. And I'll talk about that more in just a second. But you see here in the middle of the barrel, we have this large machined ring there. And right in front of it, this miniature scallop. I guess that would make for a good reference point, depending on where you grip the dart. But going forward from there, heavily tapered front end with these five machined rings, multi-rings right there. Then the points, these fire edge points, you're probably wondering about this and if they're going to destroy your board. I actually threw these darts a couple of times. I have a really hard throw and the points were not sinking in. Nowhere is near close to this uh, these rings. So they're not going to be board destroyers. I wouldn't worry about that whatsoever. And I, you know, like I said, I have a really hard throw. I was actually throwing on my Target Pro Tour dartboard, which is kind of a soft board. So yeah, they weren't sinking in all that far. These are incredibly long points. But now, coming back to the barrel, let's talk about the grip. Like I said, not as grippy as I expected. Actually, with a pixel grip, I expected these to be a really grippy dart. I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, kind of split it right in the middle. We'll give these a grip level 3 on a scale of 1 to 5. And like I said, this entire middle section kind of makes for a good reference point, depending on where you grip. But what do you say we get these on the board? I, go, I, I guess I'll go with a stock setup. I don't really want to bash on these flights. But uh, yeah, we'll go with a stock setup. And uh, yeah, let's see how these things fly. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's have a few throws with, check that out, the completely stock Target Makuro Suzuki Jedi darts. And uh, I'm going to have to run through this really quick. I had barely any warm up at all simply because we're having some record setting temperatures outside. It's about 91 degrees Fahrenheit. Not quite sure what that is in Celsius. I'll put it up there. I'm guessing low 30 celsius somewhere maybe 31 not sure but uh so warm in here i've got the door shut to keep the noise down the rest of the house lovely air conditioning however up here it's like a sauna so we'll make this quick but you know throwing these things if you'll see there that dart went in the board really flat i'm getting some very random angles of entry now that one's standing up a bit Yeah, so kind of a strange sensation there. And I'm kind of wondering if it's because of the temperature in this room. I mean, obviously it's, I have high ceilings in here, so it's warmer up higher. And uh, I've heard professionals talk about that on stage playing under the hot lights. Their darts will behave differently through the hot air. So yeah, really weird random angles of entry into the board. Some darts are standing up. That one kind of went in crooked. So I'll go for a cover shot. A successful cover shot I believe oh hey really successful cover shot nice so yeah other than that though I'm getting a clean release like I said these darts really aren't that grippy I think I was being generous with a with a level 3 grip there's no sharp edges especially near that scallop it's rounded so yeah not overly grippy Whew, it is just so warm. Oh, this would be nice. Ah, yes. Pre-boom. In the heat wave. Ooh, first dart, second dart, third dart. And I'm sure that's lovely for the average up there. <laughs> How many throws was that? I should quit right there. <laughs> See, I should have quit while I was ahead. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, saved it on the third. Whew. Well, anyway, I totally forget how many throws that was. That was five, right? I hope. I'm going to call it right there just because it's so warm. Wow. I can just feel myself dehydrating. Well, anyway, there we go. I mean, they were throwing really nice. I'd like to try these out under more favorable conditions just because of those weird 
you know, the weird angles that I was getting during the quick warm-ups, probably for, you know, three minutes. And, uh, yeah, I guess it's a lovely dart. A little bit expensive. I normally don't review expensive darts on this channel, but, um, you know, I figured it was worth it. Every once in a while, I like to uh, check out the higher-end darts. Doesn't mean they're better by any means, just because I, you know, I spent more money on them. That doesn't mean they're a better dart. And you saw the match waiting there. That wasn't so great at all, especially coming from Target. I would expect a little more from them there. But there we go, guys. I did manage to get one other clip for you that you're going to see. And you'll notice that these super long points, they, uh, they were favorable there. You can, uh, you can group these things incredibly tight just because of these longer points, as you're about to see. So I hope you enjoy this final clip. pretty flat. Oh, <laughs> nice one there. That one is super tight. Boom. No boom shirt. It's so warm in here today. I had to wear this polyester. It's like 81 degrees in my room. Second dart. First dart. And you see it with a third dart. Wow. I guess that's a good example of how tightly you can group things with long points. Those just kind of found their way in there. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the Target Makuro Suzuki Jadeite darts. Again, the link will be down in the pinned comment. I'll take you over to Dart Shopper. You can check them out. Feel free to use the discount code as well and uh, grab yourself a deal. And don't forget about that express shipping, especially if you live in Canada or the United States shows up to your house within days. So yeah, absolutely amazing there. Well, anyway, guys, feel free to leave a comment, talk about whatever you want to talk about. And if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up as well. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.